What's going on? What's going on, man? It's your boy, me and Emily in the building, coming at y'all with another video. Now listen, this video is about men decreeing a thing that shall come to pass. So in the Bible, it says a man shall decree a thing and it shall come to pass. So when I hear that, I automatically think about the role of a man. See, the role of a man is like you really can't have no excuses. When you're a man, excuses don't serve you well. Because you have a you have a power that the most high has blessed you with. A power that allows you to decree a thing and it shall come to pass. Now, what does that mean? It means that you can speak life into a situation and it shall happen. But not only speak, you have the mind that the Most High has blessed you with. You have the mind, the kingdom that you have right here. <laughs> you have that. And that is your weapon that you are able to use to decree anything that you want in your life. If you take a second to look around yourself and see the life that you're living right now. You will begin to understand that. This is the life that you created. This is the life that you decreed and it came to pass. You might not have spoke yourself into the shitty situation that you're in right now but you damn sure led your way into it you damn sure put the actions behind it that led you to being where you are right now you know so just the same the same energy the same effort the same ability that you use to get yourself into a state of living that you don't like is the same energy and the same effort and ability that you have to pull yourself out of that state that you're in right now to live in the state that you you know that you desire to be in Isaiah 55 verse 11 so shall my word be that go forth out my mouth it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. The power of life and death is in the tongue, right? So we know that not only what you feel or do will get you somewhere how you speak to yourself how you speak about situations has a great power that allows things to actually happen for you it's not demonic it's not witchcraft it's your mouth if you say you're a loser you're gonna go be a loser but if you telling yourself waking up every day i'm a winner I'm successful, I'm blessed, I'm, I'm rich. You'll begin to believe that. And then you'll begin to act on those beliefs. The only thing that separates the rich man from the poor man is their belief system. Just because you grew up in poverty doesn't mean you can't obtain wealth. It's all about your belief system. Do you believe that because you grew up in poverty that you are poverty? Or are you in this poverty environment but still carry yourself with the rich spirit, with the rich mentality? You're not out here living a poverty, a poverty lifestyle, the poverty lifestyle. You carry yourself a certain way. You conduct yourself a certain way. This allows you to reshape your environment 
I don't understand how people, religious people, can say that, oh, manifestation is witchcraft. We're, we're, we're forever manifest, manifest, manifesting our life. We're forever doing it. In this moment, me, right here, right now, giving y'all this knowledge, giving y'all this wisdom, making this video, I'm literally projecting a, a energy out there. So if I got on here and talked about something totally opposite, I'm sure I'm, I'm sure I will reap the benefits of what I'm speaking on just like I'm reaping the benefits of everything I speak on now you shall reap what you sow that's a form of manifestation if you sow good seeds expect good good fruit so just getting back to the core subject of this video as a man you have the power to shape your reality the way you want it as a man think it so is he but you can't just sit there and think that oh I'm just gonna sit here and think about the world that I want the lifestyle that I want is going to automatically come to me. No, you have, you have to put in the work. Be, do, have. What do you see yourself being? You see yourself being this certain statue of a man? Then, once you see yourself being that person, you have to do you have to do the work that is necessary to become that statue of a man. Then once you do the work, you will have what it is that you want to have and you will live in that existence of what you wanted. Of what you wanted to become. Be, do, have. You can't skip the process. You can never skip the process. And even if you think you're skipping the process, somehow, some way you would end back up. You would end back to, 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 to step one. So is, there's no skipping the process. You must. You must go in steps. You must go in order. So as a man no not even just a man women also but as a man you have no excuse to fall back on because we literally are graced with the power to create the life we want some of us just choose to use that power and use that will to do things we shouldn't be doing to do stupid stuff you know but the, the 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 world that you created for yourself at this very moment is the same world you can recreate and live a life that you want it's your boy me and Millie in the building I hope this video help somebody i hope it touched somebody and i hope whoever needs to hear this video i hope it gets to them if you like this video comment tell me what you think subscribe and i'm gonna catch y'all on the next video it's your boy me and then in the building i'm gone you feed